Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you had a beautiful day. So, um, I had a crappy day and I wanted to talk about that, basically. Um, everything is linked to, well, when I have a bad day, everything is linked to my hormones and obviously my period and stuff like that. There, I just saw all the men going now, all the men leaving. You should listen. Uh, if you have a girlfriend or a wife or a female friend or whatever, like, it's good to, to know this information. You know, I mean, this is something I always explain to my son. My son is 10 years old. Um, he, he knows how to spot my symptoms. Um, I've taught him what to do when I feel like that, you know. Um, he knows sometimes he'll just come and hug me and say, mommy, I love you. And can I get you anything? And he'll put a blankie around me and he'll maybe get me some chocolate or whatever. Cause he knows I'm going to be craving for some things that are not very healthy. So I just wanted to say, um, to, to the ladies, you know, to the girls that it's okay to feel like that. Um, to feel so crappy and so bad and so low and so disgusting and fucking hate everyone. Um, it's normal. This is your body preparing to have a child. Things are going on in your body. You know, I think we, we are, as, a, as women, we are expected to just be the same. You know, when things inside of us are changing, like me, I struggle a lot with my hormones and uh, mine is all uh, linked to my period. Um, that's why I have PMDD, but that's a whole different thing. So um, I've decided I'm not going to hide it anymore, you know, and pretend I'm okay and whatever, whatever. I'm just going to accept it that this is how I'm feeling right now. I can't help it. You know, of course, I'm not going to go murder someone. Don't do that. But I've accepted it that two or three weeks before my period arrived, my hormones are going to be all fucking crazy. Okay. All whacked out of their minds. And it's obviously going to affect me. So I do take a lot of time to myself. I don't schedule anything, go to parties, events, whatever. My whole life right now basically evolves around my menstrual cycle everything I do, like people I speak to, um, if I know I'm going to be very emotional that week and very, you know, sensitive and cryy and stuff like that, I'm not going to speak to people who I know it's going to piss me off. You know, I'm just going to back away from them. Even if they send me WhatsApp calls, whatever, I'm not going to respond or I might respond and say, uh, that time for me, I'll, I'll contact you when I feel okay. I mean, everyone who's in my circle, which is a quite small circle already, they already know of, um, how I struggle with my hormones. Um, so I'll just say like, if I see they keep on texting and texting, I'll just say, um, not in a, my hormones are acting up right now text you when I feel better. And then they'll leave it, you know, um, there's certain people that I have to dodge and ignore as well. You know, we all have those people who just, mm, they just get the, oh, uh, out of you. You know, whether it's a friend, your mom, a cousin, a sister, uh, another mom at a school, neighbor, whatever. We all have that mm, person who just, dude, I promise you, I will do whatever I need to do to dodge this person. I swear to you, I will take an Uber. I'll take a bus. I will climb out of my window, but I will make sure that I do not cross paths with that person because it just takes one little thing to set me off. And then I'm in a bad mood. I'm feeling groggy. I'm going to fuck everyone up. I'm going to eat everything. You know, you know how, you know, you know how it is. Um, I also, I spend a lot of downtime. Downtime is the key. If you can, of course, you know, um, I spend a lot of time in my bedroom, you know, I put on meditation music and it, this is all about me and what my body's going through right now. Um, and just kind of giving into how my body is like reacting right now, you know, instead of fighting it before I used to fight it. And that was kind of worse, you know, yeah. Like, you know, like if you fight something, fight, and then they're going to fight back. So I've learned to listen to my body and work with my body. You know, sometimes I'll even talk to my body and say, okay, 
okay uh this is where we are right now we are feeling very down about ourselves uh, we are feeling you know like no one loves us and whatever so it's okay it's fine um we're just gonna stay in the bed you know we're gonna get some nice food and we're gonna watch some things and whatever and stuff but we're gonna take it easy and we're gonna put the phone on silent and uh you know everything is fine like imagine you are talking to um someone who has a bomb and you don't want to fucking set this bomb off you know you can just stay calm because once once i get once i get stressed out it's all over you know i just explode i can say goodbye to my whole day then i'm in a bad mood i'm angry i want to cry uh everything just feels wrong the whole world feels wrong the whole world feels like it's against me i feel like everyone hates me you know you know how it feels um so i just like accept it okay um this is my downtime and if someone doesn't accept that this is how i'm feeling right now and this is what i'm going through right now then i'm sorry that is uh that's your problem that's not my problem i told you that this is where i'm at right now um i actually spent time to explain to you what pmdd is and uh, how i need to live my life in order to make sure that i stay calm and i can do this thing and be and come out of it okay-ish you know because once your period arrives then it's kind of okay <sighs> everything's fine you know and especially when you have kids you have to deal with that shit and you have to be a parent so it's like uh, <laughs> you know it's quite a big mission mission impossible so yeah and i just you know everything is just about being calm and um being serene you know meditation music in the house i burn those thingies um those sticks thingies that you burn uh, i got my buddha statue you know sometimes i play my full gospel music kirk franklin make me wanna da -da 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 -da. you know when you're feeling like having a bit of full gospel music in your soul and stuff and yeah and i'm just basically not talking to a whole lot of people it's just me, my, 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 there's like, a, I have my small circle, but then the, the circle gets even smaller when it's that time of uh, the month for me, you know? So it's basically three people I'm talking to really that I really need to talk to because uh, there's a, someone called Vovo in my life <laughs> who, if I don't answer my phone, he will basically call the police and He'll call uh, all my friends and people come knock on my door and, you know, busy uh, being in my serenity moments and whatever and stuff. So, yes. Um, so just know that it's okay to feel like that. You know, uh, work with your body. Um, listen to your body, what your body is saying to you. Um, that right now you are feeling tired, maybe. Um don't go to a fucking party you know or don't go interacting with a group of people if you know that right now you are just feeling vulnerable and you know so like just sad like a baby and what do you do you have to if you see a baby crying or whatever you're gonna do this to the baby you know so treat yourself like a baby that you really love you know and just talk to yourself and i say to myself sometimes it's okay it's okay, I understand how you feel, you know, and I'll brush my hair and I'll put on some makeup, you know, to make me feel pretty and stuff like that. Because I feel very, very ugly when the hormones start. Like, I don't even want to look in the mirror, actually. So, it's really up to you. There's no one out there who's going to do those things for you. It's, it's really up to you to really look after yourself and to nurture yourself, you know, and to do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. This is the time that you can actually fucking be selfish. You can say, what do I want? Not what do you want and the, this and the kids and whatever and whatever. You train your family to know that this is your time. This is mommy's downtime. If you love me, you will get this. Okay? And mommy will be back after the period. Mommy will be back and, you know, mommy will look after you and stuff like that. So, yeah. Enjoy, ladies. This is all, this is all just part of the journey in your life you know make it beautiful and just make it in a comfortable way so yeah i just wanted to say that um i was feeling that you know like i wanted to say something for my ladies female culture stuff <laughs> okay love you bye